As you can see from the last video I put on here, I got a little freaking carried away I did. I got no walls now. The bathroom is gone. So there's some mold and stuff underneath the... That light sucks. Why does it do that? Freak. So as you can see, there's some mold underneath the 2 by 4s and whatnot. So I just ripped out the whole damn thing. So we're starting from scratch. And that's where I ended up with that. So I'm waiting for a plumber to come over and give me an estimate on moving some things. So I can't go any further with the bathroom right now. But Mel just come home with her friends and I'm gonna make up some cotton candy I am. So I don't know if I showed you guys, I moved the old cotton candy unit down to my office because it's a little bit quieter down here. So as you can see, I've got a few flavors here that we can go with. Why is this light flick? Why is all my lights flickering? What have I done? Hold on, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, I had you on 24 frames per second instead of 60. That's why lights were flickering. You think I know how to use a GoPro by now, eh? But I don't. I got myself some flavors here. We got some banana, we got some cherry, blue raspberry, grape, orange, green apple, and pink vanilla. So I'm gonna fire up the machine, and you can watch me have a go at her. We'll make a few bags for the kitties, eh? Pretty right, you will. So anyways, the video here is about the cotton candy machine. So if you don't wanna watch it, you might as well just click on to the next one, Captain. I know you'll probably all stick around for this because this is pretty awesome. So we'll plug this in, we'll bring this around like this, plug it in the wall, we'll move this over, we'll take this stuff out of here. Oh, we still got full charge on the automatic twister doodad. Friggin' right we do. So we'll fire this up. Now, they gotta heat up to a certain temperature. You're gonna like this, it's pretty fun. So, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go with, um, we're gonna go with some grape. We'll do a grape one. So get that out of there. So we'll take a scoop of grape, like so. Perfect. Comes with a scooper. Doodad. And now what you want to do is you want to put the scoop in the center of the doodad. Have your thing on the bobber ready. Now it's still warming up, so it might take a minute to start. It smells so good. Just think of grape juice. That's what it smells like right now. As it's heating up. As it's heating up. I said as it's heating up. Here it goes. Oh yeah, geez. Are you seeing this right now? Awesome. Uh-oh. She's not hot enough yet. She's tangling. The next scoop will work better. Wait for it. There, the dog's starting to work. See, she had a little fire up episode there she did. Oh yeah we are. Careful. Easy. Oh it's still coming out. Okay that's enough of that. So like I said we'll get a bag out over here. Normally I get the bags ready first. I'm slacking. So over here as you can see you stick her in you undo her. There you go. Next. Hey. Next. Scoop. Dump. Catch. Oh yeah, now yeah, she's working. Don't have to go quite that fast. Oh, we got a tire out of balance here, Captain. Got a little balance issue going on. It's okay though. Here we go, next. Stick that in, slide her off. Take a scoop. How you doing? Stick her in, Jim. And away we go. Cotton candy with dirty old Belson. You'd never think of it, or would you? You never ever thought that would ever happen. Here it is. We're doing it. Together. I'll tell you one thing though, if it's cold, this thing adds a lot of heat to the room. All right, so there's a three bagger. And that's what you get at the carnival for seven or eight bucks right there. Here we go. Done. So now, We'll move on to a, a raspberry, a blue raspberry, that is. So let's get a bag ready first this time. Decent. Blue raspberry. Decent. Gun. Dump. Go. Oh, blue raspberry has its own unique flavor. It smells like, mmm, smells good. Put it that way. Look at her go. Oh, yeah. 
think it's almost done. This thing actually makes cotton candy pretty quick. One, next scoop. Okay, get in there. Now this isn't a professional machine, like on YouTube you see, so. Don't get carried away with thinking it's gonna make that perfect ball. Because it don't. It's not a profesh, it's just a cheapie. When I cheapie, I mean like 400 and some dollars. But the good industrial ones, you're a thousand freaking bucks you are. Oh, look at that one. I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing there. You got a big giant ball going on here, Captain. Faster. Oh my god. Yeah. Good enough. It's gonna be gone as fast as you take it anyway. There we go. Blueberry. Or blue raspberry. Decent. Let's do a cherry. A pink vanilla, actually. We'll shut that grape. And we'll pull out the pink vanilla. We'll shut the blue raspberry and we'll scoop her up. Almost forgot the bag. Okay, first scoop of pink vanilla. How you doing? Watch, I'll pay attention a little better this time. I'll do a little bit better ball for you. Look at that. Would you just look at it? There you go. Almost looks like a little bit of a cockhead. It smells like a candy shop in here. Captain? Smells like a candy shop in here, it does. This is fun when you hadn't done it in a while. make myself a uh, let's go with cherry I was gonna make a banana but I don't feel like a banana so I'm gonna have a cherry nothing like a good cherry on top one cherry done two cherry done now you gotta remember when you're making cotton candy if you get some sugar caught on the spinner to bobber, it'll start clumping. See how it's getting candy around that thing? So a lot of times you can just take a little napkin with a little bit of water and just give it a wipe and it will straighten it back out again. But this is my last ball, so I ain't gonna bother straightening it out. Care less, to be honest with you. Careful. There we go, good enough. So there we go, I made four bags in however long. Now see all this stuff on all the edge? You can actually re-burn that if you want to make another ball. Like, watch you just stick it in. Then you can have mixed flavors. Look at it. Pretty good, right? You can. So that there is a uh, three-flavored doodad. Mm -hmm. There you go. So I'll run this up to the kids, and then they'll come back down and show you how to clean this bitch. So to clean this thing, all you really need is a sink. I'm just going to use my dirty old laundry tub to clean this out. So just turn on the hot water, like that. All this sugar, you don't have to worry about it. You can just add water to it and just dump it out because it's all gonna evaporate anyway. There we go. So now you just wanna rinse the bowl off, like so. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's all there is to it. Very simple to clean a cotton candy machine. Bowl. As long as it's stainless. Do the same thing with the lid. Just give her a little wrist job. Beautiful. Give her a little rinse up on top if you want. There you go. Nice. Give your tools a quick rinse. Then you can just take a rag or paper towels. Get her a little hot. 
This thing does come apart if you want it to, but I'm just gonna give it a quick wipe down. Careful. So just give it a wipe. It's still very hot. It takes a while to cool down, so be careful. But just wipe the lid, clean around the orifice like that. Wipe this out like so. Good. That's clean. Now when you're done, you also want to wipe the whole table down and all around the machine because it throws sugar everywhere. Even though you have that lid, you're still gonna have sugar everywhere. So give her a wipe and especially the floor because that's where it all sits, right underneath on the floor. So we'll give her a quick wipe down there, just where you stand because that's where it comes out. And that's all there is to it. We're done. Put the lid back on. Unplug it. Put your spoon in there in case you want it. Tuck your bag away. Put the drill back in there. And then we put the bag back on. Always want to put your bag on in case you have animals in the house because they like to get into sugar. There you go. Done. Well, there's some making some cotton candy with dirty old Belsov. That's the way I do it. Leave any comments below if you want to see more of that. I doubt it, but just in case you do. And until the next one, we'll see you then.